Hello guys, my name is JB Dan. Today I will show you how to create a notepad in Win in C Sharp .net framework. As you can see here, open up your Visual Studio. Create a project. If you haven't used C Sharp .net before, just search C Sharp .net. Pick Windows Form app right here click next name your project you are going to put a name notepad right here and then click create if you want to save your project to somewhere else then you can change the directory click create now as you can see here we got our form right here resize the form because it's too big open up your toolbox and if you do not see your toolbox right here click view and open this toolbox right here control alt x type menu strip and then save type rich text box Save that too. So the min the minimal requirement, my minimal requirement when it comes to coding with C sharp is you have to have a Visual Studio 2019. Now type new. Eight. Looks like I made a typo right here. New open save save as okay. Once we test that, we will see that it's working. double click new now before we code we must use system IO this is useful for accessing the directory now at form level you paste this code right here the code itself will be in the description below I provided some useful comments so you can all understand This is for the new. This will create a new file name. I mean, this will create a new name, a new file. Open. This will open a file. Save. if you get this error then don't worry it means that you haven't declared a variable yet double click save as and it will go away see it needs this save as and for the save as code we are going to use this here for those who want to type the code manually pause it Now, if we test this, save. As you can see here we have our 
test now when you want to write something it's it no longer asks you to save and overwrite that file and if you want a new file you can create new and you can create another save as yep and then we are not done yet clear Now, there we go. File. You can, you can add some extra like help like here like help but I won't bother let's just put the exit like here this oh, never mind let's delete because user can delete that now that's that's it for now guys I hope this tutorial is very helpful for you and if, and if it's really helpful be sure to give this video a like leave me a subscribe and leave a comment Share this video on your social media. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.